I see enemies ahead. The ones that killed Roz. Get him. Got it. <laughs> do that. Allow me. I could do that for you. Just like you wanted. I'm sure you have your own business to attend to. about to send the boys to hunt you down. Boss says kill him. Why are we always attracting danger? Got it. could do that for you. It's done. Let me be.
That scamp Kylon sent you, right? Glad he hasn't forgotten about us. The mercenaries are right there. If you're here about other things, just speak up. She's too good! Be off with you now, and be glad I only took from you your gold. <laughs> Fools. Welcome to the Pearl. I'm Sanger, the proprietor. Have a seat, get comfortable, and tell me what you need. Every one of my people here is a skilled craftsman, and don't let anyone tell you different. You'll have to go one at a time, I'm afraid. Our rooms aren't quite big enough to share between so many. But we can discuss that in a moment. So what would you like me to show you? The men or the women? Or some of both, if you prefer. Turn around and walk, stranger. This affair is for white falcons only. We're the toughest, meanest, and loudest mercenary band from the Free Marches. If you haven't heard of us yet, you will soon. Now get out. Get a load of this guard. You're telling us what to do? Uh, you have a point there. Men, let's clear out. Don't, don't want to get on Locaine's bad side, do we? Tell Kylon I owe him one. Looking for little old me? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. Looking for little old me? Yes? What's on your mind? My mother was from Denerim, and I consider myself a Ferelden, Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orle ruled. When Orle was defeated and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Orle. She took my mother with her. I was born in Orle and did not set foot in Ferelden till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. Mother died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. She was quite old then, and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecily than my mother. Strangely, the only thing I really remember of mother was her scent. She kept dried flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. Small white feraled and wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in Orle. But enough about that. Let us move on. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Looking for little old me? Um, I don't think you have the correct aptitude. I could give you some pointers, though. You may be able to pass them on to someone you know. Let's just go over there, away from the others, for safety, yes? I expect there shall be daggers flying about willy-nilly for a time. Something on your mind? Of course. Never, never what? Had a good pair of shoes? Oh, so that's what we're talking about. I admit I've never had a woman just come out and ask me like this, that's for sure. I, myself, 
Never had the pleasure. Not that I haven't thought about it, of course. But, you know. Well, living in the Chantry is not exactly a life for rambunctious boys. They taught me to be a gentleman, especially in the presence of beautiful women such as yourself. That's not so bad, is it? Good. You'd want a gentleman to court you, wouldn't you? If, if you were to be courted by someone, that is. Ah. Mm, well said. Enough. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's go. Looking for little old me? Yes? What's on your mind? I miss Val Royaux. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Val Royaux was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Val Royaux, streaming from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses, and always floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. If you get the chance, you should see it, at least Val Royaux. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orlais, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orlais. I left behind much, leaving Orlais, but there is more to life than dresses and furs. It is sad that many have lost sight of this. Orlais is very fashionable, almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes! Living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. When I left Orlais, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps, or embroidery. In soft colors, of course, it was spring. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue silk with amber beads on the toe. The shoes made in Orlais were exquisite. Not at all like these clunky fur-lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. Ugh, just look at them. They're sturdy shoes, but sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day. But we have things to do, don't we? Yes. What? Is it customary where you're from to give complete strangers questioning looks? Isabella, if you had spent any time here or on the docks, you would know. Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist. But you cannot pay me enough to duel her. I'm not so stupid as those two. You should ask Isabella. I do not know how to explain. They call me Casavir. I'm first mate on Captain Isabella's ship. More than this, you do not need to know. You are surprised to see another strong woman like yourself. Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist. But you cannot pay me enough to duel her. I'm not so stupid as those two. Did you not see? They wanted money back. Some of them never learn. If Isabella consents to play a game with you, it's an honor. You do not ask for compensation if you lose. Isabella commands the crew on the... She calls herself a duelist. Ah, a 
the Grey Warden. And I had heard that all the Ferelden Wardens were killed or exiled from this place. Oh, don't look so surprised. I've seen many of your kind in my journeys, and there is always something... odd about you. But, Grey Warden or no, it is refreshing to see another woman who answers to no one. Now, what can I do for you, my dear? I assume you saw that little drama. None of these poor brutes has ever proven a match for me. They are too clumsy and predictable. I fight with quickness and wit, rather than with brute force and strength. I call myself a duelist because I honed my skills in duels with warriors I encountered over the years. <laughs> An unusual request, coming from a fearsome slayer of Darkspawn. I am flattered that you wish to learn from me, sweet thing. But I have watched you, and you seem to lack a particular grace that is required. You are accustomed to doing battle a certain way, yes? I can teach you some basics. Perhaps you can pass it on to someone who might be interested in what I have to offer. I do, however, wish to get to know my potential student better. So we shall call for a drink, and you will honor me with a game. Do you have something else in mind? Oh, and now you've piqued my interest. It would surely be rude of me to decline such a delicious offer. You're going with her? I... I thought you were joking. What about us? Doesn't what we have mean anything to you? Please, don't tell me you really want to... I did not realize that somebody had already claimed you. I have enemies enough, and I would like to avoid making more. I do not want to cause offense. Let us forget what was said. Now then, a drink. A round of wicked grace. Else we have no agreement. All right, I can see you're busy. Perhaps later then? I can't do that. I could do that for you. What now? I can't do that. do that. 